Hey, hey there. there, I'm Chad. I'm Leanna. And this is Lola. Our baby dog. Yep. Um, right now we're sitting in our self-converted van, Vinny. Vinny is his um, name. He's a Dodge Ram ProMaster 3500. And we renovated Vinny uh, in a total of 47, 47 days. days. And all with the help of YouTube, other van lifers who have gone before us. We've been married for two and a half years and tiny living has always been a huge dream of ours. Mm -hmm. So we just dove in head first with no prior knowledge or experience, Zero. literally nothing. Yeah. So you can do anything these days with the help of the internet. True. <laughs> um, and so we filmed the entire thing from day one all the way to the end, day 47. And uh, we hope you guys enjoy. Hey everyone, today is day one of the van build. Yesterday we bought a Dodge Ram Pro Master, a 3500. It's a 159 inch wheelbase that's extended. So today we're gonna be working on sound editing on the floor and the walls. We're gonna be installing the subfloor, maybe get to some windows. We're super excited. We've been waiting for this journey for a long time. So here we go. first thing that we will be putting in the van is kill mat sound deadening material. Here it is. So just going to lay it all on the floor, all along this entire floor, on a lot of the walls. Um, and the thing with floor insulation is you actually surprisingly don't need to put a lot of insulation on the floor just because your main problem is going to be from the cab area, the sun beating down through the windshield, through the windows, and then through the additional windows that you'll be placing throughout the van. We live right now in a renovated RV, and if it's cold outside, the ground is cold, and we put about uh, super thick insulation on, on the floor too, so it just doesn't really work that well. Um, and so, if it's cold out, buy yourself a pair of slippers. If it's hot out, go barefoot. First thing to install. Alright, so we have Leanna here. Say hi, babe. Hi. She is rolling out the rest of the mats. So I, I peeled them, stuck them down. She's going to roll them out. And that will complete the floor, just like that. the whole cut for the very first window. We're super pumped. Gonna be trying this out, putting this sucker in there. Wow, isn't she beautiful? I am. Thank you. <laughs> Close the door, babe. Let's see how it does. Close it? Mm -hmm. I'm scared though. It's fine. Oh, first window in. That was ridiculously hard. Window number two in, window number two in. All right, the subfloor is officially finished. The next step is to tape down our entire layout so that we can walk around the van and get a feel for like where the shower would be, where the seating area would be, and the kitchen, and we can walk around and see what it would be like with two people in here uh, and make sure that everything's good for the layout. This is what it looks like when you're finished with the tape job and you sit in your van and make sure that this is the layout that you want. And I think it is. 
You just have to sit on it for a little bit. You don't know if it is? I don't know if it is. We don't know if it is. We don't know. <sighs> Day three of the van build is wiring. I have 12 gauge wire right here. Um, pretty much as, as much as I can. Whoops. Drop that. Um, yeah, so basically I'm going to hope for the best, but expect mistakes. That's why I'm doing all the wiring before I put up the insulation. That way if I did something wrong, I can easily fix it. And that about wraps it up for the wiring job. Here's kind of like the whole control panel unit and all these guys will be lights that are hanging down. So yeah, this is, uh, this is all the DC power. All right, everybody, it's day five of van build I'm like losing track of my days today I'm building a deck we're gonna be putting in the first fan right here solar panels so I'm just kind of measuring everything out making sure it all fits and right here is where our deck will be we got a good So I finished the second fan right there. Now let me show you what I got. I got four of these. This is aluminum one by one inch uh, bars. Shout out to Van Kooks. I think that's how you say it for this inspiration. So I'm making like a DIY deck. I'm gonna bolt them in to these runners on the side and then I'll be able to screw down the composite deck on top of it. y'all it's day seven of the van build doing some wiring so that i can put up the insulation so i'm going to wire this together kind of push it back a little bit that way i can put the boarded insulation up and and do all that so i've got a lot of wires to go Quick update for everybody. I got about three fourths of the ceiling done. I'm just waiting for the rest of the wood uh, to be done drying from me staining it. Um, I just built these boxes. This one holds the battery bank. This is our 40 gallon water tank. 
and I just built a second box right here. Not sure what we're gonna put right there. But having the batteries right here on the wheel well instead of down here actually gives me a lot more space right here. Um, because for storage, we want everything to be quick access. And it's a lot quicker to grab something down here in the front corner than it is like in the back of the bed. So I'm really excited about that. Hey guys, it's day 10. We've made it to the double digits. Uh, today I'm building out the bed frame. Uh, so just gonna show you guys a bunch of footage of that and um, kind of build out where our electrical is gonna go on top of the wheelbase and things like that. So here we go. It's day 11 of the van build. We've got this beautiful wall right here, partitioning off the bed from the rest of the house. Um, I cleaned off the entire floor because I think I'm gonna do the flooring today. Painting some more boards white for the walls. So first I just need to insulate the rest of the walls. Then I can put the floor down. Then I can put the walls up. Today I'm building out the kitchen frame. So it's just gonna be five feet long, 20 inches wide. Uh, we're doing a little toe kick in it. So um, yeah, I'm basically just gonna be building the frame with these two by twos and uh, gonna be doing some dry fits in the van. So here we go. Wow, things are going really well. It's officially day 16 of the build. I almost literally was so close to cutting off my finger yesterday. Um, that was scary, but I'm good, I'm alive, feeling great. Uh, here's some more build.
going great. Today is day 19. And guess where we're going? Home, Home Depot. Home Depot! For like the 800th time. Leanna is painting again. Um, I've built a what ton else of do stuff. I do for the build? <laughs> All, I do. All Look, I do is paint. I'm not I'll very good at painting. painting, painting I'm not. Money, 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 money. And Leanna is really good at painting. I've so been doing it since I was like 12. We're capitalizing on her strengths. Also, and I'm about to turn on a busy road, and so I'm going to say goodbye. But day 19, here we go. Day 27 of the build. You know, I, um, I'm i just gonna keep giving y'all some time lapses of things I'm doing. I'm, I'm building the shower, I'm gonna build some face frames, just doing a lot of like the construction part of the build. The electric uh, is completely done, so all my outlets are working. Today's shower day, and just a whole bunch of random stuff.
it's been a long day of painting, all that junk, installing these gas struts. We have these clips that keep them closed. We have these uh, magnetized guys uh, that will keep these shut when we're driving. Like that. And then to open it, use this guy, you go like that. Boom. So whenever we're driving, we'll have these like activated whenever we're not latching like that. Um, so I've been installing that. It's been fun. We have all of our handles in, as you can see. All of them are in? All, I think all of them are in. Except all of them, for that one. All of them except for this one down here. I need to change. We decided to, to, instead of doing black, to do gold. And then, yeah, like Leanna said, this one. But the face frame isn't on yet. So we can't do that. Guys, we think this is the last week. Uh, Leanna really wanted to do some yoga before we start today. Get our uh, heads right, I guess. So. And bodies. And bodies, yes. This is very important. I had to redo my bun. It was poor. Poor bun. Poor bun. What a poor bun. I work. She plays. It's day 43, and we're about to get our countertop installed. <gasps> oh yeah! So I excited. just want it to be done. Yeah. I don't like it when there's like a mess and people in the house and... <laughs> Our countertop this way but then it just made sense to do it horizontally because this burner was a little too close to this backsplash wall so we just got to do some trim uh gotta actually install this and put the weight on this guy so that it goes up in there but we are so happy <laughs> so huge shout out to jake from milestone if you guys milestone are ever surfaces. yes boom if you're ever in murfreesboro Tennessee and you need some countertops. He is your guy. four of the build and we are picking up some live edge wood for our bed for our table we are super stoked Perfect. I think it was meant to be. It was us. meant to be gone. Also, can we just talk about the fact that, like, looking back behind me in the van, it's like it looks like a home. 
Chad just put that little piece of trim up and the backsplash on it and I love our plants and our ceiling and the white and it's all coming together. Hey, do you love me, babe? Just that is that live edge. Oh my gosh! Look at the rings. <laughs> it just looks really good. past that but yeah so we've just been touching up paint as you guys have seen for a long time um just have a few more things the bed is basically ready to go in we're gonna do some live edge on the back of the bed and a few other touch-ups so what do you say we go to bed like tomorrow ready. day 46 ready to sleep me too <laughs> hey, today is the last day of the build. Day 47. 47. And we hope. We hope. We could not be more excited. We have like a list of a thousand things to get done. Um, it's just too much. And on that list is moving in. Yeah, we have to move in. And that's the second part. Um, the second part of all the first other we have things to we finish have to get done. it and then we move in. Yep. And if we get that far, which I'm we will, probably going to cry. We will. We're going to get that far because... I'm a little hopeless right now. You can do it. It's the cushion that's... It's the cushion driving that's draining me. You can do it. Though. I just I don't feel like you. I'm enough. Guys, <laughs> last day. Here we go. Did you just say I just don't feel like I'm enough? Yeah. pretty dang good babe wow. it's definitely not perfect like you can tell this corner is like a little smushed but it's workable we're, <laughs> we're gonna work with it yeah term. and the I table too like the table and up. my mom told me that if your cushions are ever a little bit too big like ours like it's a little bubbly you can get this stuff called batting put it in and it'll kind of fill out the spaces that are empty other than that I mean, come on now first time Pretty good. <laughs> Guys, we finished. Yes. End of day 47 and we are done. We're done with the random. But it I tell you what, it feels so good to have everything moved in and it, ready to, to hit the road. Livable. Yeah. I just took no a shower. No more wet paint. No more wet paint. <laughs> Our hot water heater is working. No more anxiety over that dang <laughs> cushion. We did it. We just it's... made smoothies and it's midnight. Yeah, it's been a long day. Time for bed. Time for bed. And our new linen sheets. If you guys want to see a tour of this van and all of the things that we did to it and some really cool features, and uh, feel free to check it out right here.
wherever we put it. Um, on our page. Yeah, on our page. <laughs> Check out our tour of Vinny the Van. Yay. And um, follow us along to see where we're going to take this thing. Should we show him Lola too? Yeah, probably. Let's get Lola. And this is where Lola's been all night. Yeah. She's, she's a little <laughs> human that we just coop up. <laughs> Hello, baby girl. Hello. Lola, do you like the Hi, van? Hi, precious. Do you like your new bed? She's <laughs> a little bean. She's like, guys, let's go to bed. Please come to bed. Well, we'll see you guys on the next journey.